a shockwave file. So click on publish. That's in the toolbar that comes with the iSpring free version. Type in the name, indicate the folder, and click on advanced animation on mouse click if you want that option. Click publish. This then goes into the folder that you've specified. There it is. Now what we want to do is save the hot potato into that same folder. So save, make sure it's in the same folder, give it a name. Try not to use any spaces. Now to add a reading text, click on the reading text icon. Indicate including reading text, click in the text area. Now insert media object. Browse for your shockwave file. Tell it OK. Logs SWF. Open. Now choose your flash player. Take off the link if you so choose. And OK. Now to make it look a little more presentable, put center on either side, spelt in the American way. Turn it off on this side. And OK. Oh yep, better change the width and the height. You could have done it on the previous screen, but 400 by 300 works well. Now to add the questions, remembering that these are meant to refer to the slides, so indicate that on each slide. Put in the answer and indicate that it's correct. I've added about six to eight questions here, so we're going to save, export it to the same folder, and let's view it. So the idea here is that you read the slide, you put in the answer, then you go to the next question, which will tell you to go to the next slide. So this says go to slide two, so we move it over to slide two read the worked example and work out the answer. And so on. We have a number of files we want to upload at once. The best way to do this is to zip them up. They're in a folder, so go to the folder. Right click on the folder. Send to compressed folder and press enter. You've now made a zipped up folder which you can then upload. In your course, go to add an activity, hot potato quiz. Choose or upload your file. Go to the folder for the for the hot potato, choose upload a file, browse for it, have a look for that zipped up folder you just created, double click on it, and upload. Once it's uploaded you can unzip it and say OK. That creates that folder for you. Go to the folder and select the web page, the HTM, don't select the other one. And let's see how we all, well we've done. So we'll save and display. Looks good. So we'll go back to our course and just move the hot potato to where it should be. It's now at the bottom, so we'll click the Move button. We'll move it to its desired location. And this one needs a little indenting. Turn the editor off and have a look and see if it's what you wanted.